Ooh, me so horn edge. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a blacksmith armorer for over 30 years. I've created weapons for over 200 feature films. This is Man at Arms. This is Hone Edge from uh, Pokemon. I drew out a full-scale template on paper. I traced that paper out into quarter-inch thick 1075 spring steel, cut that out on the bandsaw to the shape, the profile I wanted. The tang of the profile cutout was left a little bit wide, so I could forge it out to 3816 thread. We took the blade over to the vertical mill to remove about a 80 thousandths thick layer down the center of the blade, somewhat of a flat fuller, leaving about one inch on the edges to be used for the edge bevels. The blade was machined, brought it back over to the belt grinder, and ground the edge bevels starting with a 36 grit belt on a 10 inch contact wheel and then progressing down to 120 grit. And we put the sword into the heat treating oven at 1550 degrees, quenched it in the heat treating oil and then started sanding down the edges of the blade using a small angle grinder with an inch and a half or two inch wheels to clean up all the chatter marks from machining it down in the middle of the flat fuller. The hilt and grip on Hone Edge were made out of 6061 aircraft aluminum. The hilt started off as inch and a quarter thick by probably nine or ten inches long and we cut off the details on the arc of it on either side on the bandsaw and then trimmed it up on the belt grinder. I also tapered down the edges on the bandsaw to remove some weight. This turned down section of pipe will be cut off to fit in here welded down and then I'll make a nickel silver bezel that'll fit on the inside of the hole and cut a domed cabochon glass gemstone with the iris cut in the back. The grip was made out of about a two inch diameter piece of aluminum rod, maybe six inches long, and that was drilled on the lathe and then tapered from about inch and a quarter diameter at the hilt all the way back to the two inches to give it a nice shape. This is the buffing wheel, also what we call the wheel of death, arguably one of the most dangerous tools in the shop, which is of course why we put it next to the door. The pommel for a phone edge was turned out of a piece of 12L17, free machining steel that was threaded to a 3816, and a slot was milled into it to hold the leather banner. This is the steel pommel for Hone Edge's sword that I'm going to put into the heat treating oven and thermal color it. The oxidation colors cause the metal to change color kind of like you'd see on a muffler on a motorcycle. The leather banner was cut out of two pieces of lightweight vegetable tan leather and then hand tooled by Johnny and then painted up with the color scheme. Surprisingly, it came out pretty well. It was a great balance. It's a real sword made from something from Pokemon, so uh, go figure. <laughs> I choose you, Hone Edge. Hone Edge enters the battle. Hone Edge uses cut! Time for some HMO1. Gotta catch them all. All our episodes, I mean. Be sure to click subscribe. Special thanks to Pokemon experts, the J-Wits, and the screen team for coming out to the shop. You should go check out their channels. It'll be super effective. <laughs>